This video is about the RTD. RTD stands for Resistance Temperature Detector. Uh, so here we will discuss about what is RTD, the science behind the temperature versus resistance, the working principle of RTD, then interfacing of RTD using data acquisition system. So first, what is RTD? RTD is a temperature sensor which is used to measure the temperature by measuring the resistance of the RTD element with the temperature. So as we know, the temperature, the resistance changes as its temperature changes. That is the resistance increases or decreases as the temperature of the sensor increases or decreases respectively. Hence, this is also called as a resistance thermometer. So basically, uh, the RTT does not produce an output on its own. So in order to measure the resistance of the sensor, we are supposed to connect an external electronic devices with it. RTD types. Usually RTDs are available as a length of uh, fine wire made of platinum nickel or copper wrapped around a ceramic or glass core. So the type they are classified as according to the material used. While comparing this platinum and nickel, platinum has a stable resistance temperature relationship across a wide range of temperature that is up to 660 degrees centigrade. It produces a linear relationship, relationship whereas this nickel is not linear when the temperature increases beyond the 300 degree centigrade. This RTD is better than thermocouples for its stability, accuracy and repeatability. Before discussing the working principle of uh, uh, this RTD, we should know the science behind this temperature versus resistance. Basically at room temperature, the atoms present in the conducting materials vibrate with some energy. So when small electric current is allowed to pass through it, the electrons which are present in the electric current collides with the vibrating atoms and the current flow will be disturbed. So in this case, if we increase the temperature, the, at the atoms which is vibrating will get more energy and uh, vibrates with more energy and so the collisions will be more and the current flow is restricted more. And thus, we can say that the resistance of the material has been increased. This is how the resistance of the material changes according to the temperature change. The working principle uh, behind this RTD is as the temperature of a metal increases, so does the resistance to the flow of electricity. RTD is a passive element and also it has a positive temperature coefficient, which means as the temperature increases, the resistance also increases and vice versa. The resistance of the element can be measured by passing a small electric current to the element and measuring the change in the current flow. Typically, uh, the current which can be used here is uh, in the range of 1 milliampere to 5 milliampere without the risk of self-heating. The resistance value can then be converted into its equivalent temperature based on the characteristics of the element used. The electrical resistance is uh, measured in ohms normally. Some of the advantages and applications of RTD. RTD can give higher accuracy values and also this RTD can be stable for many years compared to the thermocouple uh, which stays stable only for few hours. So as per the advantage this RTDs, RTDs is used in power electronics, computers, consumer electronics uh, where it can monitor the uh, st stability of the components used for example the heating of the transistor and all and also it can be used in food handling, processing, industrial electronics, medical electronics, military applications, aerospace and also in automotive uh, field to measure the engine temperature uh, an oil level sensor, intake air temperature sensors, etc. Some of the examples of RTD sensors are coolant sensor, transmission oil temperature sensors, intake air tem temperature sensors, fire detectors, etc. The following part of this video explains how the RTD can be interfaced using data acquisition system. So now RTD, how to work with an RTD? the same as a thermocouple we are going to acquire a temperature from a dark assist from a sensor so i am going to express input dark assist here 
here we have to choose the rtd sensor instead of thermocouple sensor here we are using a three wire pt100 rtd so acquire signal analog input in that temperature there we have to choose an rtd now which channel we have connected our sensor we have to choose that channel i have connected in channel 3 so i am choosing channel 3 and giving finish so here we have to choose what type of acquisition mode we need we have to give n samples and here the configuration is to 3 wire because we are using a 3 wire rtd and give ok so the DAC assist will be created based upon our configuration the output of the DAC assist will be now will be a temperature now we are going to convert that temperature into a resistance and the resistance into a voltage using a formula so now creating a numeric indicator this is a temperature data then for our uh, reference I am taking a thermometer type of indicator as we are seeing our temperature in this I am connecting that to a output of a dark assist now we have to convert this temperature into a resistance for that using a linear approximation theory uh, the formula is r naught into 1 plus alpha into del t so the del t is what the actual minus the reference that is a del t so i am subtracting the actual temperature came for us with the reference temperature here our reference temperature is zero so i am creating a constant of zero okay so this is del t so del t 1 plus alpha into del t the alpha value is 0 0.0043 so we have to multiply the output of this into 0 0.0043 0 0.0043 so now we have to add 1 with this because it our formula is 1 plus alpha into del t r naught into 1 plus alpha del t so we have to add 1 in this so i am adding 1 we have given a formula in a sheet huh? 1 plus alpha into del t so now r naught into 1 plus alpha del t so r naught multiplication R naught value is 100 because we are using a PT100 that meaning is 0 degree Celsius we will be having a 100 resistance so the output of this will be now with a resistance I am creating a indicator here so this is a resistance value now we have to convert this resistance into a voltage for that using a wheatstone bridge uh, by keeping all other resistance other than this rtd resistance as constant as 100 ohm resistance we are uh, calculating a resistance so for that first the denominator of r td plus r3 so for r3 the value is 100 so i am adding r td value plus r3 yeah. so this we have to divide now uh, converting the resistance into a voltage using a wheatstone brush we will be having uh, now we have to first uh, the denominator we have to add this r td resistance with the r4 resistance so we are keeping all other three resistors in a wheatstone brush as constant as a 100 ohm resistance for finding a voltage so i am adding a resistance of rtd with the r4 resistance that is 100 
R4 or R3. Now we have to divide this RTD resistance with the output of this. So I am taking a division operator from the the numerator will be the RTD resistance. The denominator will be the RTD plus R3 resistance. This and we have to subtract this value by 0.5 because all other resistance we are keeping as a constant 100 so 100 divided by 200 will be the 0.5 so i am subtracting this with the 0.5 constant so 0.5 this will be my resistance output this into a voltage our input voltage we are considering here is a 5 volt so i am multiplying this with a 5 volt resist 5 volt so this is my output of an voltage this is a v out so creating a indicator for this that is a voltage we have to keep all these in a while loop so take a while loop and create a control for the stop button now for uh, taking readings we are going to take a write to measure file and we are going to add all this resistance voltage and temperature to that so we will get uh, in excel file we will get the value of a temperature resistance and the corresponding voltage and we can take readings according to that so for that right click go to express in output we will be having a write measurement file click on it last time for a thermocouple here overwrite file and we, we need it in a microsoft excel here time column we need only one column now uh, for uh, one column per channel means for each uh, what channel we are adding temperature voltage and resistance will be ge getting each uh, time column for one one channel so only one column i am giving and relative time we need so i am untaking the absolute so now we got a write to measurement file here to the signal we have to give three signals our temperature resistance and the voltage so we are adding temperature resistance if you give it like this it will automatically come the merge signal so you can drag it and add the voltage into it now three signals will be going into a signals create a file name control and a file name out indicator that's it if you run a program you will get the all the data in a excel file the corresponding temperature and the resistance and the voltage thank you